Welcome to the lesson six in the creation of our school management system. In this lesson, we're going to continue with the creation of our student MS data information sheet. So we continue with that. So in our previous lesson, we dealt with how to create what we have seen on the screen here. That is the table here. So we're going to continue with the headings, which we'll be using in a word that is insert insert mail merge, where we can do the auto counting of the data and then get it up and running in Word, where we can do the printing and then for um, submission to whoever it may concern and all that. So let's just go ahead and start the execution of that. So we have the class here, that is KG1. We have from KG1 ranging to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, to basic nine. So we have KG1, then we have the male here. Then we have female. Then we have total. So we're going to edit this. We're going to edit this. After editing this, then we can just control. We can just copy them and then paste them in that order. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just select this. And then uh, okay, let's just yes, let's do that. Select it and then uh, let's change the font style to Times New Roman. Text should be center. We want to bold it. We want to increase the font size. We want to give it a background color of uh, let's see let's see this color we want to give change the, the the font color to white we want to move it to top a bit so i think this is okay so let's just increase the uh, this here. i think this looks good so i want to select this and then let's increase the size a bit that everything can fit well into it without any issue so we have if this is not well done it wouldn't appear in word for mail merging so don't forget of that so make sure you follow the same thing in the video so if there's an error we can easily fix it together so we select this select this select this select this so I want to give it the same format in times new roman so that increase the font style so want the text to be center and all that so that's okay let's give this red gold and then green so this should be red so let's give it a background color of red let's give it light red and all. okay this is it this should be uh gold at in yellow oh sorry this should be yellow and this should be green green so we have this here okay let's build the text control and select it so we have this here it can be seen right this can be seen right this it can be seen as well so you can just let's do it with them so that is okay so with this we can just copy all this and keep pasting it and after that we can come back and then edit the various classes so let's do that to speed up our work so let's select this let's give it all bodies for now so this is okay so we can then select it again Control c to copy click on this and Control v to paste so you make sure you maintain column source width so by selecting this drop down arrow and click on it on this and then it's maintained so select here as well control v you click on this you maintain column source width so we now have kg2 basic one so this is for basic two this is for basic three this is for basic four This is for basic five. This is for basic six. This is for basic seven. This is for basic eight. This is for basic nine in the final class. So we like to have all mail here. Okay. 
Can I get it? Okay, it's no more selected. So let's just forget of that. Okay, let's see. Let's select this as well. Control C, select. Control V to paste. Let's maintain the column source width. So let's undo the. Let's press the press the escape key on the keyboard and you get that running. So now we need this for all male, all female, and then a grand total for all. All male. All female. Let's just. Grand total. Sorry. So we have this. Good. This looks good. So we can just go ahead and edit the various classes. Before I forget, let's just create. Okay, we will come back and check on that. So this is KG1. This is KG2. This is basic one. This is a basic two. This is a basic three. This is basic four. Basic four. You just confirm here and see. <laughs> this is basic four. Okay, let's just see the, the naming of the, the various uh, classes. Let's see, okay. Basic two. Is it one okay? Okay, sorry for that. KG2. Let's you try using this naming star frequently because we'll be needing it. Oh, sorry, this is for KG1. Good, so we are good to go. Is it two? Is it three? Is it four here? This is basic five. This is uh, basic six. This is basic seven. This is basic eight. And finally, this is basic nine. Good, so we are good to go. We have all the classes and all that. So and there is no any other issue here again. So we have basic nine male, female, total, all male, all female, and then the grand total. So we are good to go with this. So now let's have our home button here so that when we are on this sheet, we can click on this button and then we go back home and try to switch to any other shade of our choice. So let's go to insect, go to and shapes, and then select this and then just create your home button here. You can move it up a bit and then. Uh, Let's just right click and then edit the test and just type home as usual. So let's just select it and format it appropriately. Let's just go to the home tab and center it. Move it to the top a bit. Times New Roman should be the test, sorry, font style. Unbold it. We want to go back to formatting tab and then choose this. Then that will be okay for us. So we have, we have this, this. So let's just right click and then go to hyperlink. You go to place in this document, you choose home. So it can navigate this to the home page. So you click on this, we are home. Come back to this. So 
when we finally get the various uh, what you call it, student information data and all that, then you can then navigate to the viewership. sheet. So let's just try to do something here. Now let's copy all this and then go back to the student details below somewhere and then paste it where we'll be doing the counting and then making reference to this. So let's just check on that. So let's quickly go back to this and then select the entire information from here to the end. Control C to copy. Let's come back to the student details. Let's go down to the last and then let's move this way and get a space here and do that because we'll be needing it seriously here for some important uh, assignments so right click here then uh, okay let's just arrange it here then control v so we want to keep uh, the, the the column or source keep source column with so just click on that and that formatting is mean from there so we can just quickly go back to the student and this this and then press this escape key on the, on the keyboard to clear the selection so control s to save so we are done creating the student ms data so in our next lesson we're going to look at how to create that of the teachers ms data we are going to do all the front end designing and everything before we go to the pack end where we'll begin with the form sorry the user form designing or you can enter the formulas for automatic calculations and all that so in our next lesson we're going to deal with teachers ms data sheets designing so till our next lesson say thank you very much for watching and don't forget to save your work thank you very much and bye for now